Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do a percent problem that has to do with percent of liquid. One canned juice drink is 25% orange juice. Another is 10% orange juice. Now, I've kind of already started this this problem. Um, these, believe it or not, are supposed to be containers of orange juice. And I just wanted to give you an idea of what 25% orange juice means. That means 25% of all of the liquid in the can is actually really orange juice and the rest of the liquid is something else. So here we have the 10% orange juice, and only 10% of that is pure orange juice, and the rest of that liquid is something else that I'd rather not think about. But probably a good deal of it is water. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pouring this and this, some of this and some of this, in here in order to get a 22% orange juice mix where 22% of the total liquid is orange juice and the rest is hmm something else all right and then what do we know we don't know a lot in this problem but we do know that the total amount of liquid uh, how could I show this the total amount of liquid in this container is going to be 15 liters And so we have to find out, I mean, we can find out how much orange juice there is right away because 22% of this 15 liters is going to be the pure orange juice. So let's find out. We're going to say 22%, that's 0.22 of, which is times, 15, enter. That'll be 3.3. So the amount of orange juice in here is going to be 3.3 .3 liters, and the rest of it is going to be something else. Okay, so what we're being asked to do is the second sentence. How many liters of each, that is of that and that, how many liters of each should be mixed together in order to get 15 liters of the 22% OJ mix. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pour some of this container and some of this container into this container. All right, so let's do that. Let's take some of this liquid and put it in there and some of this liquid and put it in here. How much? I don't know. And when I don't know, I assign a letter, usually X or Y. So let's say I put X liters, that's a liter, X liters of this liquid and Y liters of this liquid into here so that the X liters and the Y liters together equal the 15 liters that we'll get at the end. Now, these problems are all done in a particular way. There's one more relationship there that isn't really obvious, and that is that the amount of orange juice in this X liters plus the amount of orange juice in this Y liters is going to be the source of the amount of orange juice at the end. In other words, this 3.3 .3 liters is going to be made up of 25% of this X liters and 10% of this Y liters. So it'll look like this, 25% of the X liters plus 10% of the Y liters is going to equal the orange juice at the end, which is 3.3. .3.
So let's put a point zero here. And those are our two relationships right here. That the leaders of the 25% orange juice plus the leaders of the 10% uh, orange juice equal the total leaders at the end. And the leaders of pure orange juice plus the leaders of pure orange juice equal the leaders of pure orange juice. And all of these problems work basically the same way. Actually, exactly the same way. So now all we have to do is do this problem. I have decimals here, so I'm going to multiply this equation by 100 in order to move the decimal points over two places. I'm, at the moment, I'm not going to do anything to the first equation, so I'm going to say x plus y equals 15 and 25 x plus 10 y equals, this is going to be 330 because we move this decimal place over two places. All right, now, we can, are we looking for both? Yeah, how many liters of each, okay. So I'm going to use elimination just because elimination is so easy. Um, and it would be really, really super easy to get rid of that y first. So let's do that. I'm going to multiply this whole equation by negative 10. So I'll have negative 10x plus negative 10y is going to equal negative 10 times 15 which will be negative 150. I'm going to add these together and get 15x. I'm going to add these together and get 0, which was the whole reason for doing that. And I'm going to add these together. And I'm going to say negative 150, negative 150 plus 330, enter, is going to be 180. So I'll divide both sides by 15. So x will equal 180 divided by 15. Divide 15, enter, and that'll be 12. So we're going to be using 12 liters, 12 liters of the 25% solution, and I have 15 liters at the end. So I wonder how much I'm going to use of the 10%. Right. There could only be 3. I don't even have to do any calculations because 12 plus 3 is going to give me my 15. So now we have our answers. We're going to use 12 percent, uh, 12 liters of the 25 percent solution and 3 liters of the 10 percent solution. Let's see if that's right. All right. How many liters of the 25 percent solution? 12. All right. And how many of the 10 percent? Terrific. We've got it.